Hi, hey, I'm coming to you from Santorini, Greece, and I have some tips for you if you come here, things that you really need to know. I'm going to talk about food, I'm going to talk about coffee, and I'm going to talk about little tips that would be really helpful if you're here, and how to get from the ferries to different islands and some... Um, some interesting things that can be helpful for you. So the first thing I'll talk about is the food. So um, I don't know about you, but you know, in California, when we go to Greek restaurants, we get a Greek salad. And ordinarily, that's a Greek salad. And it's it has greens in it and has some tomatoes and some cucumbers and some feta cheese. That's not the Greek salad here in Greece. The Greek salad here is, it's all tomatoes, cucumbers, some onions. It might have capers or it might have some other things. And then it has a beautiful chunk of feta cheese with a sprinkle of olive oil and some spices. And it's really delicious and refreshing. And, the, and, and it's just very fresh and um you just feel so healthy eating it. So um, it's a very different kind of salad, so I just wanted to share that with you. You can also find green salad, and I found a lot of um, really green salad. They were so good. Um, the dressing's really fresh. Um, of course, you know they use olive oil for mostly everything, and that makes it for a very healthy um, salad dressing. The other thing that I found interesting is there was no hummus. I was expecting the restaurants to have hummus, but I I don't think I've I've been to Greece I've been in Greece for five days six days and um, I've never been to a restaurant that had hummus. They have tzatziki though, lots of tzatziki and really good warm pita bread. Uh, some people would have the warm pita bread. Some would just have dry pita bread. But either way, it was it was delicious. And the fish, let me tell you, the fish was really great. It was so good. Um, uh, we went to a restaurant last night in um, Ia. They call it Ia. That's where the blue domes were. Uh, and we went to a restaurant that was right on the ocean. We had to walk 500 steps to get down to the old port. And um, you actually got to pick out your fish and then they filleted it for you and it was just really good. So the fish has been phenomenal here. And the last thing is the meat here is different than it is in the United States, as you can imagine. So um, just be, be prepared for that. I didn't eat very much meat here. Um, mainly I had fish. I had fish every day, fish and salads and, and baklava. I had, I think I've had baklava every day. Um, there's two different kinds of baklava. There's the kind that are made with pistachios and there's the kind that's made with walnuts. And I prefer the ones made with walnuts and I had some delicious baklava. I just love it. It reminds me of my childhood because my mom used to make it. And um, anyway, I just love it. So that is the food. So let's talk about coffee because coffee is so important when we, for those of us who drink coffee. And so when we go to another country, there's also there's little, in, you know, little different nuances of coffee that we need to to know about. Um, so Greek coffee, and I did a little video that I'll put in here in between um, I might be repeating myself but I'll just um, I'll just put that video there Greek coffee is made from very very fine coffee grounds it's almost like a flower and they make it in a, uh, a little tiny pot and when you order Greek coffee you need to decide before if you want sugar in it because you can have it without sugar you could have it lightly sugared you could have more sugar you could even have more sugar but you don't want to add sugar to your Greek coffee because there's always a little film of the coffee grounds on the bottom. So you would drink the coffee gently um, and you just don't drink it all the way to the end and you don't definitely do that because it's got the coffee grounds. So you need to make sure you know the sweetness and you don't really ever add milk to Greek coffee. 
There's another coffee that is called Freddo, and what that is, is it's instant coffee, and they put it over ice. They make it, and they put it over ice. You can add milk to that any kind. Most places have almond and soy milk, uh, but you can find some oat milk and some uh, little areas, and I found an oat milk uh, latte that was really delicious and you can see that in the video that I have um, that may or may not be good because I haven't even seen it I just did the video this morning I hope it looked I hope it comes out okay but either way you're gonna see that video and the coffee is really good um, I have had Americanos I've had espressos I've had a decaf espressos and all the coffee is really good so um, I'm here in Greece at a little coffee shop and I just got some coffee. So this is a, a Greek frappe. It has a little milk in it, but you could have it any way that you like. It's got, you could put almond milk. This particular place has oat milk and it's uh, really delicious. It's made with instant coffee on ice. And I was actually able to find an oat milk latte that was really good here. And they have really good, um, and Greek coffee is kind of like Turkish coffee where you can get a little, um, it's in a little demi tasse, a little cup, and it's very fine powder. And um, you need to make sure that you add the sugar before while they're brewing it because otherwise it has the film on the bottom, all the grounds on the bottom. So this is a really great place and I just wanted to share my coffee with you. Those are two really fun things. The food is, is fun. Um, I'm right now, I'm in Santorini. Wind blown hair at all, and all. It's very windy here. We're, I'm here in um, the beginning of October. Their season closes around November, so uh, pretty much everything will still be open through October, but by November, everything shuts down. So this is a great time to be here because while there's still a lot of tourists it's nothing like the summer so coming at the end of uh, the summer uh, we came at the end of September the beginning of October is really a great time the weather's been fantastic the last two days in the afternoon the winds kicked up well it's been windy all day but it got cooler in the afternoon and in the evening we needed a little sweater but that's nothing it was really great so um, then on to the next thing. Um, so we took a ferry from Mykonos to Santorini and we had our ferry tickets and we were told to stay at this one port but, um, but we didn't listen because our ticket said 11 o'clock and then we heard an over the boat is here um, in port three and it's going to Santorini and all this stuff. So we're like, all these people that were waiting at port seven were thinking, oh my gosh, did it go to another port? So we went over there and got on that boat. And we had no idea how to tell whether it was our boat or not because the ticket said the boat was supposed to depart at 11. And it was like five to 11. So we thought we should be on that boat. Well, apparently the boats run late, and I'll show you how we read the ticket and how we could have um, been more prepared. I think it's really important to, to know how to read those tickets. So anyway, when you look at the boat, you'll see the name of the ship up on the top, as you can see here. Well, the boat we were supposed to go on was just called Super Jet and the boat we went on was Champion. What happened was we could still get on the boat, but it was full and we did not have a seat, which was okay because we were able to stand outside and it was so choppy and windy. Thank God I had my wristbands on because I'm telling you, it was very choppy and um, I needed to be out in the fresh air and in the wind and with my, with my wristbands on. Uh, those wristbands have been life-saving for me. Life-changing, actually, because I get such motion sickness that those have really, really helped me. 
So the last thing that I really want to talk about here is how important it is to find a tour guide, a step-on guide, a guide that can take you around and um, show you around the places. We had, um, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can have your travel agent set it up for you, of course. You know, a travel agent can really make sure that your experience is really, um, can really meet your needs and you could see all the things that you wanna see. And, um, or, you know, you could always go up to the front desk and, and ask for a driver if you want to um, have a, pers a private driver to take you around the island, or you can hook up, see if they have any room available in the last minute for some tours that were already on the go. So yesterday, we went on a tour and we just toured the island and saw lots of different places. We saw um, an architectural site. We saw this ancient little city called um, Pyrgos, something like that. It was really cute and it was built into the, into the rocks. Because I'm in Santorini right now and I'm in Fira, Fira, and that is the capital of Santorini. And it's a really beautiful town. There's lots of shopping. There's um, a lot of restaurants. It's, it's fun to wander around. There's a place where you can hike along the rim of um, between uh, cities. You can hike around along the rim. I didn't do that. <laughs> but, you know, maybe one day I will. And, um, and then we also ended up last night on the tour, we ended up in Ia. Now, Ia is where the, the blue domes are, and I'm telling you, that is a really great town. I wish we could have stayed longer there and really enjoyed, um, just enjoyed the ambiance of that place. It was really beautiful. They had um, beautiful shops, ancient shops. They had, um, the views were spectacular, and we saw the sunset there, which was amazing. We were able to get a reservation at the Sunset Restaurant. That's all the way down, like I said before, all the way down. We walked 500 steps down through donkeys and donkey stuff and uh, those poor little donkeys. But donkeys are what they use in Santorini to go up the mountain and and because we're on a cliff so how Santorini was formed was there's a volcano right in the middle of the islands and at one time you know many many years ago the island was um, all one it wasn't an island it was all connected and then the volcano erupted broke off the, some of the islands, the water rose, and now there's all these islands around here. And that's how Santorini is way on the top of, on a cliff. Whereas Mykonos is right on the ocean and the water. They're so completely different, but they're both very beautiful and a very great place to visit. If you want any information about how to get there, or if you need someone to help you plan your trip, I can certainly help you with that. Um, even places that I haven't been, I could actually hook you up and get you the most wonderful Greece vacation and it's a really great place to go. This is my first time. I'm so thrilled that I was able to be here and I hope these tips have been helpful. So if you need to plan your Greece trip, reach out to me. Well, anyway, thanks so much and have a really great day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment because I know many of you have a lot of travel experiences and you've been to Greece probably more places than I have and uh, let me know what you think. So ciao for now and thank you so much. Bye.